All right, so today I'm going to start out. I've got several things to mention. Uh, now, the last time, well, the time when I was working on Shaggy, I couldn't find enough fabric to make his shirt, and I just barely got by with making it. And then a few days later, I found a little bit more. But of course, you know, that shows up when I don't need it. And also, when I was combing out the hair for all four characters, I needed this little brush, and I couldn't find it. And then, like, again, the same day I found the fabric, I found the brush. And they were both at my feet in a box the entire time that I was making those four characters. But, you know, that's how it goes when you got a lot of junk sitting around and you can't find what you need. But, um, now, we're going to make a lot of characters for Scooby-Doo. Some of you might be a little bummed about what I'm about to say. Uh... These two are going to be characters for Scooby-Doo. These four guys were going to be in The Wizard of Oz, but I've decided to not make these characters for The Wizard of Oz. I'm only going to do Auntie Am, Uncle Henry, Dorothy, and Miss Gulch. Now, the reason for that is because you never saw these characters in Dorothy's house. Well, no, I take that back. I guess they were. I guess they sat around her bed at the end but still i just feel like they're gonna be i don't know i just don't want to do it and <laughs> you know it's just gonna be they're in shirts and pants and it's just gonna be kind of blah and boring now if i was doing an outside farm like a barnyard scene i would go ahead and do it maybe one day i will do like professor marvel's wagon i don't know but i think i'm gonna just scrap them for now and do these as Scooby-Doo villains along with these two so that's six of them right here and then I'm going to make two from scratch just using like uh, cardboard and then this one he's the shortest so he's going to be the minor 49er and I'll explain you know that later with the shortness because that character was short but I'll talk more about that later. Um, and then, so yeah, any, anyway, these are going to all be Scooby-Doo characters instead of Wizard of Oz. Um, but I'm not sure who I want to start today. But there is, I'm going to jump up here to the house. There's a little table that I'm going to make for this room here. Which will be the table that these little books and skeleton head will sit on. So I'm going to make that today. And I'm going to pick one character to make. We obviously have a lot to make in the future, so i got to start getting on it and getting some of these done. Well, let's decide now what we want to do with each character. Now, he was the shortest. Well, these guys, I can extend their legs and make them taller. They're kind of the same height, but he can't be made taller, so we're just going to leave him because he's got, like, vinyl. Whoops. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me, I'll come back to that. This little guy here, uh, his head came off. I was, he, he, he kind of went through something, so his head popped off. Uh, and uh, so anyways, I was wanting to make the space kook who has a skeleton head. And since this little feller just lost his head a while ago, he gets the honors of being the space kook because I was needing one to be headless anyway. So, you know, he just got the role of space kook. And I've got a little skull here, ready to go. So, anyways, that's who that'll be. This will be Minor 49er. This little red-headed feller can be uh, Redbeard's ghost, who is a pirate. Uh, one of these guys is going to be the Black Knight, which was the first episode of Scooby-Doo. Uh, and then two more. Let's pick two more villains now don't be too sad that we're not doing the farmhands for the wizard of oz because you know i can always get more dolls and do those later down the road but right now i just want to use these for scooby-doo so um i gotta think of two characters for these so one more time space kook redbeard miner and the black knight and then i gotta come up with something for these two uh, hmm, I'll just leave that a little 
we'll just think about that. I need to think of some really cool characters. If anybody has a character they would like to see that I didn't mention here, uh, maybe these can be those. You could, y'all can give me some ideas of who you would like to see these two become. So we'll leave it at that for now. And I can't, I can't decide. I'm really excited to make the minor. And I'm also excited to start working on the space kook. But there's something I need for this one that I don't have yet. So let's just go ahead and start with minor 49er. I filmed that little bit that you just watched. Any Everything before right now. I filmed it like last week or maybe even two weeks ago. So I had to play those back on my phone and watch them to see where I was. I've tried to lay things out the way it, the, the way I had it. Uh, now, like I was saying, where I left off, we're going to start with the minor 49er. And I want to use the shortest character I've got. And I'll explain more about that later. Um, now, I did go out over the weekend and I bought me up some fabric uh, that I needed for his outfit. These are the three colors that I need. And then there's some yarn to make his beard. Now, I'm not going to go through the steps of making this outfit or the hair because we've seen me do that in several episodes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just make him off camera. Uh, now, some of it I may come back and show me making, like maybe the hat or something. And there is a prop that I'm going to make to go with him. But we're also going to make a table for the house. And then last week, I filmed a piece that I was supposed to put in the Daphne video. And I forgot to do that. So you're going to see me making uh, like the shower for the bathroom. And I'm saying let's check out Daphne. But we're not actually checking out Daphne. We're going to be checking out. Uh, the minor 49er. So when you hear me say Daphne, just know that that was a clip that should have been in the last video, and I forgot to do that. Now, something else that I've got to say. I sometimes will be filming, like last week I filmed making uh, Daphne and Velma and Fred and some other stuff I was working on, and I was doing too much at once, and I my videos get kind of sloppy i mean not that they're ever great but i mean they get really crazy when i'm trying to do two or three characters at a time but uh i'm going to try to just stick with working with this one so that i don't keep getting everything mixed up and my biggest pet peeve with my own videos is when i say i'm going to post a picture here in the corner and then i never do it like i forget to add that clip like I forget to add that little picture. And I hate doing that. I did that a lot in the last couple of videos. Uh, so, you know, I'm either going to not post a picture or I'm going to have to remember to post that picture when I say I'm going to. But anyway, that just drives me insane watching my own videos back and there's supposed to be a picture pop up that never pops up. So anyways, I, this week I'm only going to focus on him and making that little table that we will work on today. And I just don't want to get confused or get, you know, bite off more than I can chew for one week. So let's get started on the minor. All right, so before we check out Daphne, I'm going to actually finish up the shower in the bathroom. And I'm going to roll up a little piece of paper, just like I did for the flashlight. And I'm just going to roll that up to make the head of the shower. And I'm going to roll it around this uh, coat hanger wire. Um, because the pipe in the shower is going to be uh, a coat hanger wire. So I'm just making sure that once I get this made that it will slide right onto that coat wire hanger. So I'm going to round it out here. And then I'm going to shape it. Alright, so I did that. But that little piece of paper just wasn't enough to make that shower head as big as I wanted it. So I took two pieces. And I don't know if you can tell it. But I just glued two pieces together to make it a lot longer. And I think now it'll work. I'm debating on if I should go ahead and stick this piece on it. 
uh, but you want to glue them together before you start to roll it because then you won't be able to shape it like I'm going to do once I get it rolled. Now, I'm going to be honest, that was actually not that easy. I mean, look how tiny rolling that up. See, that's going to actually go on before the shower head because that's just going to be like an extra little detail. This is the bar that I've got cut for the uh, shower pipe. Um, but yeah, that is not the easiest thing to do. Gluing something that tiny and just trying to roll it up like that. I'm just going to stick that on there, hopefully. Alright, so that's on. And you just got to be very careful, because I've just got a little tack of glue there holding that. Now that'll hold better later when I um, paint it and like Mod Podge it. Now the shower head, let me grab something else, because I thought I had something here, but... Alright, I had to grab a paintbrush, but I'm just going to use the handle. I don't know if I really like this handle too good or not, but... Oh yeah, it done okay. Alright, now see, I'm just going to poke it through there and push out some of that to give it that shape like that. And that's just what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to Mod Podge that to hold that in place, and then that's just going to be the little shower head. But I'm... I may actually try to stick it on the shower pipe first. See, it just pushed it right back in there, though. But I'm going to have to just sit here and... Oh, no, there, I got it. Oh, yeah, and see, I can pull it. I don't really need that paintbrush handle. So you just kind of pull it down to where it kind of looks kind of like a shower head, I guess. I don't know. That looks okay, I reckon. I mean, it looks like it could be. It don't look exactly like the one in the cartoon. Now, I'm not completely done yet anyway. I'm going to cut out a little circle from the cardboard here and glue it right here to give it like a, just to cap it off, kind of. Um, but anyway, that's all I'm going to do for that. Now, oh, and what I was saying is it's not exactly like in the cartoon because the bathtub in the cartoon... It's got like these pipes coming up on both sides here of the shower head. And you've got your hot water on this side and your cold water handles. But my handles are actually on the bathtub. So it's not, you know, exactly like in the cartoon picture. But, you know, I'll post a picture, do a little side by side so you can see how it looks. But I think it's going to, you know come together pretty good. Nobody's going to remember exactly what that shower looked like anyway. So, I think this will be pretty pretty good for it. Okay, so let me just Mod Podge it to make sure it doesn't you know, pull off or mess up. I'm putting a really big glob on there as you can see. Just to kind of help. Let me try to yeah, see how good that looks? That actually looks really good. I like how that looks. And I'll just let that dry, paint it uh, sort of the same color as the, the wire. And then I'm going to go over it and age it with a little bit of black. So before I... Let's see, what am I doing? Alright, so I've got the hat started. And... What I've done is I've took this little candle, there's a light bulb under here, and that's just kind of giving me the shape that I want for the top of the hat. And I've just uh, stretched that fabric down and held it in place with a rubber band. And then I've painted uh, some Mod Podge over that. And now I need to, I can't even grab that. I need to get that rubber band off of there. And this, I've kind of done this before. Uh, in another video to make a hat, but I didn't use fabric. I used uh, felt, but I think, uh-oh, I think it's glued to the light bulb. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Well, it's going to be a pain to get that off. I kind of figured that would do that. Now, if I pull it too hard, it's just going to pull that shape away. All right, that's totally... 
Let me see what I can do. Eh, that's okay. I can still make that work. All right, we're going to make that the top of the hat. It kind of messed up a little bit, but I can kind of glue that down. Now, this is not going to be a perfect hat. This is just going to look like, like what they call a hillbilly hat, uh, which is basically what it's going to be. Um, oops, I hate it when my camera goes in and out of focus. But let's see. Now, I'm just going to take that off. And I want this hat to be pretty big, so... It goes way down over his face, as you can see in the pictures, whenever or wherever I decide to post those. But I want this hat pretty big. And back here, you can see our little miner. His outfit looks amazing. Alright, well that's way too big. Oh my gosh. Well, I've got to remember, he's going to have a lot of hair, so that'll help fill in. But that's just perfect. I mean, just like you're seeing him there, that's actually really good. Because once I put the brim on there, you know, it hides his eyes. You're not supposed to see his eyes and stuff. Uh, now, another thing about this, uh, for the boots, I just kept his little shoes on and just wrapped around some black fabric. And then for uh, the pants, I actually was able to just use the pants that he had, and I just painted those with acrylic paint. This is uh, pewter gray. So that worked out really good. So let me finish up his hat, and then we'll start working on his accessories. And actually, he's got two accessories. Uh, he's got some stilts that he walks on that makes him taller. And that's like earlier when I said I'd talk about his height. In the cartoon, he was just this little old uh, short man, and he would run around in stilts to make himself look taller. So we're going to make those, and we're going to make his little pickaxe for his mining. For the props, what I've made are these little stilts. Uh, now, I just took a little piece of square wood, and then I cut the corners off of this piece of foam board and just glued those on. And, of course, I'm going to paint these up uh, just like a brown color to look like wood. And I did put some Mod Podge on here just to strengthen up that little piece of uh, foam board. Now I've got this little lantern that I'm going to actually paint and I was trying to see what color the lanterns were in the episode and I couldn't figure that out because I didn't watch the whole episode. But all I got to do is pop that little ball out and then I'm just going to take it outside and spray paint that. I kind of like the way the red looks so I'm, eh, I don't know, I kind of love the red up against the miner. He's standing right here, and he's completely done, and he looks amazing. I cannot wait to show that. Uh, and then his third little prop, I thought I was going to do two props, and then I forgot that I had this. Um, this is his little pickaxe. I've just cut out some of this uh, cardboard into the shape of a little pickaxe. And just stuck a little toothpick through it. So that's pretty simple. And then I've put a couple layers of Mod Podge over that, and I'm going to paint this. Uh, so let me paint all this stuff up, and then we'll check it all out. All right, so here's what he looks like, and I absolutely love it. I mean, my favorite part of doing these projects that I've been doing have been the characters. I love making the characters. Um, this one has turned out so good. I really like it. I, not just the little thing I've created here, but the character himself. Uh, out of all the Scooby-Doo villains, he's always been one of my favorites. Um, you know, and here's how that turned out, the little lantern. You can't really tell, but some of that red still shows through, which I really like, which I don't know why. That's not really showing on camera, but you can kind of see red through some parts of that. Um, and then here's how his little stilts turned out. Um, now again, hopefully I'll remember this, post a little picture right here showing how short he was in the cartoon to the other characters. Um, but th I just really love this one. Here's his little pickaxe. Now I don't have a perfect background to do pictures with him. He never really was in a house or anything. I need to make him like a little mine or something to stand in front of, but 
he's pretty cute and you can sort of see his little eyes up in there um but this i'm just really tickled with how this one's turned out um now i can't remember exactly who i have lined up for the next one i've already kind of got them planned i just can't remember which one i'm going to do next but um anyways let's start working on that little table and then we'll check all this out in the pictures at the end of the video Okay, so to start the little table, I'm going to post a picture, and hopefully I will remember to post the picture right here. Okay, so now, hopefully that that picture is there, you're seeing what I'm trying to make. And I'm going to make this as close to that as possible. So what I've done is I've... Uh, cut out these little pieces and this table is going to be made to uh, uh, attach to the wall uh, it's kind of like got a flat back on it it ain't a complete circle so I've cut the top out with a piece of foam board and I've cut out this piece to make the back of it and I've left a little bit down here uh, like a little guideline um, to where I can glue this to that kind of like you see and then I've cut out, oh yeah, I've got to actually do this too, just to give it some little decoration. I mean, just by looking at that picture, I'm just trying to make it look similar to that. And I've cut out this little piece, which is basically the same shape as this one. I've just cut the middle of it out, just to give it some detail. And then I've cut out these weird little shapes here that will go on the side. Let me hold this back up because it looked better to hold that up. And I've got two of those supposed to have. Yeah, right here's the other one. So that's kind of how that's going to look. And then there's some kind of little detail at the top, but I don't like it. I think it looks kind of like a devil. I mean, I just, it's kind of weird to me. Uh, I'm going to leave that part off. <laughs> But uh, anyway, and then here are the legs. I've cut those out of, out of a piece of foam board. And they're at a slight angle because I just want these legs to sort of be uh, angled a little bit. And it looks like a little throne. But I'm going to, you know, I cut them out of foam board. But then I strengthened it up with a popsicle stick. And what I'm actually going to do uh, is just wrap this with my floral tape just to make it stronger and just kind of make it look like one piece instead of like two things glued together so I'm just gonna do that before I paint all this and that little piece at the top of the top of the table that I said looked like a devil I just uh, I can't make out what that's even supposed to be but it looks like a goat head or something weird like that. So I'm just going to leave that off. But I mean, you know, as long as it looks roughly like it should. So there's the little table leg. And then I'll just glue all these parts together and get it painted up. Uh, and I think that's about it. And then, of course, it's going to have the books sitting on top with the skull. So once I get it all done, I'll figure out where I'm going to place it in the house and take a few pictures of that. And you'll see that at the end of the video, which I guess is uh, the next clip. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this episode. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and left comments. Uh, now, actually, I'm going to come back and show one more thing. So let me grab a couple things here. Okay, so again, we've got these two characters. You know, I've got these characters covered. I know who they're going to be. So let's, uh, you know, leave it in the comments or whatever uh, who you think I should make. I still haven't made up my mind who these two should be because there's so many good ideas. But um, just let me know who you would like uh, for me to make as far as a villain. And I'll see what I can do with those. But again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.